So I get a lot of folks calling into the county extension office wanting to know how to take a forage test. I figured it'd be easier just to show you than kind of go through all the details, but it's relatively simple. Now, if you don't have a forage probe of your own, we have some at the county extension offices. You can certainly stop by and check one out. At our office, we have two or three. Um, one that is a hand crank, and then one that attaches to a drill. Um, it has teeth on the end to be able to uh, eat through the hay bale grass, whatever you want to call it, really, really well. Now, what some folks will do is before calling me and coming to the office, they'll grab that grass right there and they'll stuff it in our sample bag or stuff it, stuff it in a Ziploc bag and that'll be their forage test. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there's a whole lot more forage in this hay bale than what I just grabbed right there. In addition, if you were doing a whole pasture or a whole cutting of hay, for example, this one's 40 acres right here, it's a lot more diverse than that one piece of grass that I grabbed, or maybe just one area that I grabbed. So it's the equivalent of just grabbing something out in the field and wanting to test it. Well, if you're going to do that, just call me. I've got some rough estimates of what broom sedge or any of the other common native grasses or Bermuda might have as a nu nutrient. But if you're wanting to get a good exact measurement, you'll want to do a forage test. And the way we do that, for example, there's probably about 20 hay bales at this particular spot. The way we do that is use the, uh, the hay probe. So what I will do is make sure you have a charged up drill if you're using this. And we will drill in until we can't anymore. And we now have a cutting of about, oh, probably about 12 to 14 inches inside that hay bale. Now for this particular one, I empty it after every single time I drill in. There are some that you might find at county extension offices that have a little hopper down there and it collects the forage sample really easy. But what we do, we pop this off. Whoop, lost a little bit. Some of you may have stopped by and picked up a forage bag. You do not have to use this official forage bag to bring it into the county office. And it's relatively loose and I'll dump it in there. Now, that was one hay bale of the 20 that I have here. I imagine there's some folks out there that have a lot more hay bales than myself. You would want to go, oh, randomly to say 10 of them or something and fill this bag stuffed full. What I've got, we want that stuffed full. I always tell people, bring me a full coffee can. Or if you stop by, uh, or if you haven't been able to stop by the office, Fill me up a Ziploc gallon freezer bag full of it. That's more than enough. That makes sure that we got a bunch of the sample and it's gonna be able to fill that bag and make sure that we have a good representative sample of what we are feeding our cattle. And then we can take that forage and determine what types of supplements. So maybe, maybe this here had really good high protein. Maybe it had some cow peas in there or something like that, or maybe some hairy vetch and it was a late spring cutting. Maybe it has some good protein, and maybe we only need to feed 12% cubes rather than 20%, and we might be able to save a dollar here and there. Follow K County OSU Extension on social media to keep up to date on upcoming events, educational information, and research-based information. Thank you for watching.